envious who runs the Torb. People's uh, people have not really been running Symmetra. She's she hasn't been on King's Row for months now. It seems they're just completely out of favor on Kings. Uh, teams know that like a first hold is very hard, so you'd rather just kind of have good fights early and then just transition into second. So on defense here from Splice, Sickness is going to come out on the Soldier 76. Papa Smurf is on the Reinhardt. Cozen, of course, on Mercy. Flame will play Zarya. Pure on the defensive Winston. And Clockwork comes out of this defensive Farah. Yep, defensive. Uh, wait, defensive Farah? They're not offense. Oh, yeah, I totally read that. The, the colors time. have messed with you yet again. I'm like, wait yet a again. second. I was, They're yeah, just saying up on the confused. offense. So everything I just said is not entirely wrong. Just substitute the word defense for offense. That's what they're running. Yeah, I, it looked really weird to me, too. That makes more sense. I'm like, defensive Winston? What? Anyway. I mean, so you've seen that offense. defensive Winston because you look at the C9 side. They're actually running that. Uh, Kai Kai will be on the <laughs> defensive Winston. Greg on the loose. Debit on Reinhardt, Reaver on the 76, Sure 4 on the Reaper, and Adam going to be on Mercy. Got this big mission coming up. Yeah, they actually, uh, I wonder what Sickness was on the offensive Junkrat. I got excited because I really miss Junkrat lately. He just seems to have fallen out of favor. No Roadhogs, though, which is super interesting given what we've seen lately. Yeah, no Roadhogs from either team, uh, no doubt. I usually at least see it on the defense. Sometimes you see the defense and offense, but neither team opting for that right now. Uh, C9 just opting instead for Winston for the little bit of extra aggressiveness. 76, of course, with the range poke and share four for the close range muscle. So it works out. The Reaver in all sorts of trouble. Almost gets taken out by the Fair of Winston combo. Will stay alive as sure for now. Getting down and dirty into the back line. Gets the double kill. Able to Wraith form out. And Debit already has Earth Shatter up Hex. Yeah, that's how well that fight went for them. Uh, that fight was over it, it, within two seconds. Uh, it was absolutely over as Kozen died, and then everyone tried to retreat, got picked up on the retreat. So they're going to add in a second support um, based on what happened to Kozen there. So Pure is going to come up on the Lucio. Demi right now moving forward does have Earth Shatter here and at the ready. Can drop it at a moment's notice. I'm not even sure the offense really realizes he has it up already. It almost be a very unexpected Earth Shatter. Decides to hold on to it, though. Doesn't use it. Could have knocked down four, but you know, for C9, they don't even need to use these ultimates right now. They can just back up, wait for an opportunity, because really, it's up to Splice to make a play here. Yeah, they get some nice positioning, though, as Papa Smurf comes in very aggressively. He's with Pure as well. They're kind of squatted off right now. If they can win their duels, they'll be fine. Hammer comes down, Papa Smurf and Pure both biting the dust as a result. The follow through coming in from Reaver. And Reaver, the attack fires, are looking for Kozen. Kozen will get the res, pays for it with his life. And C9 still has way better positioning here. They're going to be able to just mow people down, clean them up, and go from there. Yeah, Clockwork and Sickness were holding the high ground. They abandoned it, though, as Clockwork jumped out. Now, at least they didn't die in the retreat. Clockwork did pick off Adam on his way out, too, which is a really nice kill for them. He had res up. They have a huge advantage right now. Cloud9 knows that they're falling back. C9's falling back. They did lose a few people, but they do have the ability to go back in. Reaver, though, going down is pretty rough. We'll see if they decide to go in. But they're waiting for a sound barrier. But no! Grego goes down! He's trying to build the sound barrier. Not able to get it. They have to go without sound barrier. And I don't know if this is going to work. Clock is sure for getting on top of the point. Immediately going to get blown up by Flames right click. Adam does That's unfortunate. Come in, but yeah, Adam gets the res. Everyone's just a little out of position here. They can deal with these tanks on point. Yeah, really, where that fell apart there from C9 is that it was fine for them to back off, but Grego needed to stay alive. When Grego got picked off, he was not able to sound bear Sure4. Sure4 was not able to go in and get value on his Reaper, and it just... Everything just went kaput at even, that point. Yeah, even right before that, though, like, they decided to back off. He, as you mentioned, like, that's fine, but Reaver didn't get the memo. He was just hanging out up top. He got cleaned up early, too, um, you know, by Clockwork and Kozen on combo, so a sloppy retreat to say it best. All offense right now going right back into it. Kai Kai able to take out Flame. Nice mid-air shots coming in from Sure 4, and here comes the death boss coming from Sickness. Sickness oh, able to take out three, makes it a quad, and oh my goodness, the C9 did not see it coming. He just spun right into them. And I don't think I'm doing it for Splice to get through. The res does come in from Adam up on the building. C9 going to get brought into it, but still a lot of momentum in Splice's favor. Yeah, and yet again, the only people alive after this fight are the tanks of Cloud9. They are going to try to stabilize here on second point, but it might be way too late. Clockwork's in pressuring them. 
they'll be able to get back and uh, do defense here. Debit is still in here. He's getting killed up. He has Earth Shadow. Reaver has Attack Visor. They're going to have to take position that they don't necessarily want, but here's what's going to happen. Kai going to go in and Debit's going to try and fall through, but Debit's taking so much damage. He's just going to get taken out. The sound barrier is late, and uncharacteristic sloppiness from Xenon as Grego goes for a ride. Devin's usually so smart about not taking damage he doesn't have to, and there it seemed like he was just wanting to eat damage on that shield for no good reason. By the time he was ready to come in, that shield was down and cracked. He got cleaned up so he couldn't come in. Yeah, uncharacteristic is also a great way to put it. Devin just generally does not play like that. Well, if the sound bear again had come in a little bit earlier, I think it would have been fine. It was sort of a mix there where maybe it's just coordination or what, but they were waiting to go in as a team didn't happen, and now Splice has made up a lot of time, and they're on pace here. They set a pretty good time here on King's Row. C9 has to be really careful, and look at the ult situation, too. They have both Graviton and Barrage on the menu. Big Aerith Shadow, though, comes in from Devon, knocks down two, he moves in, slams Flame against the wall. We'll get the kill here. Two kills here for C9, and they should be able to mop the rest of this right up. Yeah, really, right now, you're just looking to not lose everything on the retreat. Papa Smurf does die eventually. Is ready. Go. So Clockwork, oh wow, I thought he was able to get out too, I thought there was a good retreat, Clockwork dies super late to Reaver, and now the defense is in a great position to keep spamming down this alley. Yeah, defense C9 was able to reestablish, uh, but look at the offense, they have every ult available to them, Hex, everything is on deck, they can Sound Barrier, Graviton, Death Blossom, Barrage, C9 has to be super, super careful here that this does not just ruin their day. If no one gets picked off from Splice, they should be able to take this fight. Look at this, though. We do have uh, Kakai being very aggro. Moving to backline, being the disruption that they need. Clockwork, though, taking out Reaver. I think we might see both reses come up here in just a moment, even if it's just one person. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, Kakai... No, it goes in the end. end. So the res comes up. Papa Smurf goes down, though, and I gotta say, Kai Kai really set C9 up for that. He was the disruption they needed to knock him Wombo to death, and now uh, Earthshire comes in a little bit late here from Debit. Will set up C9 to just push Splice back. But it was really Kai Kai that made that happen. Yeah, I mean, disruption to the nth degree. He got back there immediately. He was able to break up that fight, and then when it looked like they were gonna try to fly in, he popped Primal Rage and just punched the heck out of Mercy for what seemed like a while. It was like a, a, a gorilla playing with a balloon back there. Then eventually he was even able to get that kill. My ultimate is almost ready. And the thing that's really unfortunate here for Splice is that they no longer have Sound Barrier. They're not going to have that. The defense is Sound Barrier. And they're not anywhere near as advantaged on this fight as they were before. Either way, though, they are moving in. The Graviton surges out. Only gets two people into it. Sickness gets booped away and knocked to the ground. Not getting any value off this. Devon knocks down four. Sets up C9 for glory. Swinging the hammer as Sure 4 fires the rockets. Yeah, you really can't underestimate just how great that was from Kai Kai, the previous fight. Uh, mostly because they had everything. That was the fight they wanted to take. They had all their alts. He disrupted them so bad that not only did they just lose that fight, but they also used all their alts in it, too. To the point now where we see Flame on May. That's where we're at right now. We've got a May. May is in the house for better or for worse. Sure 4 coming in though, able to take out Clockwork, looking for more. Obliterates Kozen, coming in for the justice. And what an ult from Sure 4, the set up and knock down the splice team. Only a minute 43 remaining now, Hex. What's this May supposed to be doing? Is it to deal with the Winston, since he can't run double Reaper? If, no if that's idea. the case, then he's going to be on Reaper. Yeah, yeah, he's already yeah, off he's the bay. Uh, yeah. May they, Day is over. They, they, yeah, they know that Kai Kai has been causing them all sorts of problems, so they wanted two things to deal with. Uh, the Winston, they put the May on there. Their sickness does switch at 76. That's going to allow Flame to get on the Reaper. But yeah. Again, Kai Kai going right into the back, disrupting this offense. Goes Primal. And Kai Kai is just single-handedly saying this up. Because suddenly the Earthshot comes in from Devon. Again, the tanks of C9 being the Bash Brothers, setting up their DPS. And normally when we talk at C9, we're really praising Sure 4 and Reaver. But I feel like Devon and Kai Kai have been playing out of their minds in this game right now, X. They've always had uh, like absolutely phenomenal tank play. Now, we notice it the most when they're on double Winston and when they're able to run that. But for the most part, uh, Kai Kai and Debit are great on a ton of different heroes. Debit's standout, of course, is generally his Reinhardt. Kai Kai's playing a great Winston on his own right now. He's also a phenomenal Zarya. Good choice. As All right, so offense going to be your saying. This is effectively their last chance, and guys, <laughs> raise your Mr. Destructoids. Bastion is in the house. El Presidente himself. Oh, Will he times. beep boop? 
his way to victory. He's moving around the flank. Will be able to just cut through the Reinhardt shield here and the Winston shield. Winston goes in, but Sherford just blows everything on him, takes him out immediately. Kozen's gonna have to rest this up in a moment as Debit. Not dropping him, just pops Smurf drops it, able to take him out. Still, though, uh, multiple kills are coming in from the C9 side. They should be able to clean this up. The rest from Kozen not going to be enough. Yep, that's going to be a hold. Um, there's just some delay coming out now from uh, Splice, but it's not going to matter in the end that Earth Shatter comes down. And I gotta say this, the reason why you saw the Bastion come out at the end is that Kai Kai was giving that much trouble to the side of Splice. They just were tired of Kai Kai leaping in and ruining their day. The idea for Bastion was to sort of just melt Kai Kai immediately, but unfortunately, Sherford dropped a whole lot of rockets on the Bastion as soon as he saw it coming out. Yeah, every switch you saw was to deal with Winston. Uh, I mean, going on the May even briefly, uh, they had a May and a Reaper at one point in time. They would have liked to run double Reaper if they could have. Uh, no one hero limit does not allow that and then they, they just did not have any answer for it as you mentioned they had every alt they had no reason to lose that fight and then kai kai just crashed the party uh rained on their parade and ruined everything for him he was absolutely a monster on his winston so that is 41.53 meters that is the distance that cloud nine has to beat if they do beat that distance they will be taking this set three to zero sending splice uh, into the loser's bracket. Alrighty, so... Taking a look here at the defense as it rolls out is going to be Sickness here on the 76, Kozen on the Mercy, Flame on Roadhog, Clockwork on McCree, Papa Smurf on the Reinhardt, and Pure gonna round things out right now on the Symmetra. All right, a little Symmetra on King's Row. Of course, a lot is going to be on Pure's shoulder then, see if he can get that teleporter up. If he does, then it's worthwhile. If not, then you were fighting 5v6 for really no good reason. I'm excited to see Clockwork on this McCree as well. I don't know if you saw it the other day, but uh, Mendo really brought out McCree again, and he played McCree on King of the Hill in a no-hero comp and wrecked people. It was phenomenal to watch. McCree's just been coming out in force, period. I think teams are getting comfortable with him again, realizing, by the way, 140 damage off a headshot up close is actually incredibly Pretty strong. Good. Maybe we should keep running McCree. Yeah. All right. So offensively, there is no McCree uh, for Cloud9, sadly. Reaver is going to play Reaper instead. Kai Kai on that Zarya. Adam on Mercy. Grego on Lucio. Short for on Farah. Debit on Reinhardt. All right, offense on the way. And by the way, even though it says McCree's an offense hero, he is incredibly good on defense. I say this just because I actually had someone yell at me in a pub the other day saying, why are you playing McCree on defense? That makes no sense. It was like, <laughs> wait, what? But you love it. So confusing. Yeah, I had someone tell me I have no idea what the meta is in competitive. That was fun. Yeah, you have no clue, X. Get out I don't, of here. I don't watch enough. All right, sure, for gang right in the back, though, able to just uh, remove sickness from the equation. C9 with two quick kills here, getting everything they want and more. Splice just getting run right over, and no Junkrat tie required here, as C9 should be able to take point A here with all sorts of speed. One of the quickest ca caps I think we've seen in recent memory. One of the quickest caps you can possibly get. Not exactly that value out of the Symmetra as 93%, but you're going to have to switch off immediately. Pure does come up onto the Lucio instead. They're getting bullied out all the way back at the second bend. Really good offense coming out from C9. And for C9, all they have to do to win the game, they just need to bring the payload to the final checkpoint in the back. Nothing uh, fancier than that. We do judge on distance right now. New patch. We'll see just what they can do. So Splice's offense looks good. It looks fine. It looks competitive. Splice's defense, not so much so far. They, they just, they might as well have not been there for the first point at all. Re oh, here's a barrage here for a beautiful movement. Takes out two, takes out three. Ends up dying the flame, but gets rezzed up immediately. The damage has been done. Sherford took out Kozen that too, so there will be no res here for the defense. As clockwork going to bite the dust. And right now, this has been the Sherford show. He has been landing everything he needs and more. Sure, Reaver's in the back line now, looking to take out Lucio and should be able to get this pick. A little yeah, bit of good resident dazzle from Pure, the sort of uh, give himself a little bit of life, but in the end, he goes down and, yeah, I mean, C9 has just been doing anything they want to splice right now. It's really late deaths there, too, hurt. I mean, they lost Reinhardt late, they shouldn't have lost Lucio there, should have been able to get out. They do get second point, but all that matters is this giant yellow square on the ground. Um, right now, they've shown no ability to stop Cloud9. 
All right, we do have the Deadeye right now coming out from Clockwork in the back. Flame able to take out Chair 4. All right, so signs of life. They're getting very aggressive here, though. Defense needs to do something. I mean, they can't let go for it, but Debit knocking down the entirety of the Splice team brings Flame for a ride, sets up his team, and C9 is just moving right in on that. Here comes the spinning from Reaver, takes out two, and that should be it. Just a beautiful setup by C9. And down goes Splice in glorious fashion. Three to nothing in favor of C9, but I gotta say, Splice definitely had their moments in this matchup. It was a 3 0, but it was a 3 0 that Splice can feel a little bit good over, I'd say. Yeah, probably a little better. They're still lacking in the areas uh, of just, I mean, overall, in Overwatch gameplay. I mentioned that you make your, you, you know, you, you butter your bread on defense in Overwatch, and their defenses have looked pretty bad overall uh, on both maps. Their offenses can definitely hang. I mean, to be able to push the way they pushed against Cloud9 means that they're doing something right, but it definitely favors, like, just good mechanics and good death matching. Their, their dueling and their deathmatching is definitely high tier, and Clockwork was a huge standout. I think the other players on the team are actually getting better as well, but yet they just have not... I don't, I don't know if they really have enough experience in Overwatch to be able to hang with these top teams, because their defense still looks shaky, some of their transitions are a little shaky. Um, when you have five all...